Mark, on paper, that was a really intriguing match because Kurt Mafflin is class, but you were so good, he just didn't have a chance to show it. No, no, that's right. And I mean, 10-1, uh, obviously he'll be disappointed, but it's not as if he had like chance after chance, you know, and sort of made mistakes. First session, I think he had a chance to go 2-1 if he wins the frame when he's missed the pink. Who knows, he settles down and it could be a totally different game. But then after that, I more or less punished him every time I got a chance. Is that just about the best you've played in a first round match here at the Cruise? Yeah, I think so. I think so, because I always see the first round as one of the toughest to get through, no matter who you're playing. Because you're always a little bit nervous yourself, whether you're the big favourite in the game or not. So to perform like that under the circumstances, I'd say so. When we had the draw last week, a lot of people were saying, wow, could this be the biggest number of seeds that go out in the first round? Mm. It's almost been the complete opposite. I mean, Ding and Bingham was a 50-50 anyway, but only two qualifiers have made it through. Are you surprised? Uh, not really, uh, because I think, uh, obviously, experience counts for a lot. I mean, I know, like, obviously, there was only two, two debutants here this year, but all the other players have got the experience playing here, but they've probably not got the experience going on further in the tournament. So, I mean, people like Bingham and Carter, I suppose on paper was the two players who you didn't want because, yeah, they've played here a lot, but they've also had the experience. Carter's been to a final, Bingham's won it, so they've been there and done it and got the T-shirt, so they're not really going to buckle under, under the occasion. So you didn't want them, but as well as, as Kurt as well. I mean, I know I've come out on the winning side, but it was a horrible first round draw, really. Now we look ahead to a, a mouth-watering second round match. I mean, we would take you against Mark Allen as a major final, and yet your route to get to the final here is so tough, you, you've got to take him on in the last 16, and he's in fine form. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Mark's a, a great player, you know, great lad, great player, uh, and I'm expecting a tough game, and I'm sure it will be. Uh, whoever wins, I'm sure, obviously, he'll, he'll be playing somewhere near the best, and, and, and we'll probably have to. And you're in a brutal quarter of the draw as well, because the, the winner of that one will face the winner of Willow and John Higgins. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a monumental route to the final. Yeah, it is, but in a way, I'd sort of prefer it like that because you know you need to be on your, on your game. If you're not, you're going home. Where sometimes, if, you, if you're playing a, a qualifier who's come through to the quarters, yeah, you know they're playing well and they're on form, but you go into the match a big favourite and you're sort of probably under a little bit more pressure because you're expected to win. Where if I played Mark and I was to lose in the last 16, I wouldn't go home absolutely devastated and think, oh, I've like, I should have never lost that because like, I was a massive favourite because on paper it's a 50-50 game. And as I say, and if you're not like, on your A game, then you are going home. So you know sort of what you've got to do when you go out there. And, and finally, it, it really seems like you've sort of rediscovered your mojo and you, you're not agonising over frames that, that go awry. Two titles before Christmas, a mm. couple of heavy defeats since. But how close are you to being back to your best? Yeah, I feel as though I'm very, very close. You know, I'm working hard on the practice, playing well on the practice table, and sort of more times than not now bringing it to the match table. Uh, as you say, working with Chris Henry has helped massive amounts because coming here last year, losing to Ronnie the way I did, definitely hurt me a little bit. But then within a few weeks, the season started again, and I bounced back and won the first tournament. And I think if that was a few years ago before with Chris, I'd have probably suffered probably for a, a little bit longer and, and probably not won as quickly as what I did. So. I owe a lot to Chris as well as as well as myself working hard on the practice table. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.